Well, they're the mayor, and, 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 and I've always just looked at it that they all have their different styles, and my job here is to make their transition as easy as I possibly can. And um, a lot of times after a couple of months, we realize that the way we would do things are very similar. Um, of course, I've seen it done so many different ways. You know, Brent used to carry around, he called it his Blackberry, but he carried it in his pocket. It was a little card that he wrote on all day long and his schedule was there. And, um, and Mayor Slogel wanted it all printed out on, you know, a, a, a regular sheet of paper. And Mayor Hughes, Billy, of course, thank goodness, is so electronically savvy that <laughs> It's all right there in his phone, and because um, it's easy, we can make adjustments as we need to. But um, you get to know their personalities, and you realize what their their hot buttons are, and you just adjust. And I don't know. It's people ask me that all the time. They say you've never had a mayor repeat since you've been since you've worked here. I said mm -mm, I haven't. So um, they they train me. They get in. They tell me how they want it, and we make that happen. He keeps running us off. <laughs> oh, Billy Hughes. If you can't laugh at your work, you're in the wrong business. And we laugh. I mean, we work hard here, but I'm telling you, we laugh a lot too. You know, one thing Billy said to me, Billy said to me one day, he said, nothing's a crisis. And I think about that every time I get something that I panic about. And I think, what did he say? Nothing's, just, just deal with it, you know? Um... And if you approach it that way, you, you just get through it. My youngest son, Harrison, who is now 20, um, almost 25, used to love to play. And I found this cleaning out my desk where he wrote a proclamation naming that day him and where he forged <laughs> Mayor Combs' signature. Is that hysterical? Look at the date, 2003. Is that a hoot? So I came to work for the city in 1997 with Bob Short. And um, when, when, he, when he was not reelected, Mayor Combs was coming back into office and I had not worked for Mayor Combs previously. So generally, you kind of would like to know whether or not when you come in, you have a job or not. And he um, never talked to me and nothing was ever said. And so that morning he came in and I was nervous. Oh my gosh, I was nervous. I had packed up all the stuff in my office because I didn't know if I was going to another department. I'm not civil service protected, so I could truly have just been very nicely sent home. And, um, and I had known Mayor Combs all my life, but in a very different role. He was our neighbor, and he was the father of one of my friends, Ken. But anyway, he came in, and they all went in the office, and it was the celebration that he was back in office. And I sat in the lobby for, I was probably here at 7.15 that morning, nervous wreck, but anyway. I sat out there in the lobby, and uh, it's about 8.20 or 8.25, he walked out after he had had his cup of coffee and all of his friends left, and he said, are you going to work today? And I said, well, yes, sir, and he said, well, let's get to it, and I walked back into my office, and we never talked about it again. Oh, Lord. <laughs> let's see. Oh, look at Alex. Look at that precious thing. This will tell you how long ago this was. Look at Harry. I know. Oh my gosh, I remember this picture. That was at the fishing rodeo. On the front, uh, uh, on the paper. I mean, I really believe, and I know this sounds so cliche ish, and I don't mean it to, I really have the perfect job for me for my personality, um, and I love this city, I mean I do.